This is probably one of the most common things most new music producers say when they're starting a business. They say, I want to first build my brand, build a following so that I can eventually get sales. So the first thing they focus on is building that brand. And I wanna to explain to you why this is probably one of the slowest ways to be able to grow your business. Just so you know, I totally understand how important brand recognition, brand awareness is. I just believe that in the beginning, when you're first starting your business and the thing you need most is money, I don't think brand awareness is the thing that you should be focusing on. And you might be like, look at giant companies like Apple or Microsoft. Well, you have to compare yourself at what stage you're in versus what stage they're in. They're in a position now where they have a lot of capital, they have a lot of money that they can throw into brand awareness campaigns, and that's the biggest thing, is brand awareness costs a lot of money. Because this is what brand awareness is. You're paying just so that people understand that you exist as a company. That is it. There's no direct return on investment. You don't put in a dollar, get $2 out. You're playing the long-term game when you do brand awareness. So companies build themselves up to a position where they can afford to do brand awareness. That's not what you should focus on if you're just starting out. The hardest part to grasp is to understand what to do when. When we're first starting out our business, the most important thing that we do is we get money first. Money is what makes businesses grow, what keeps them operating. So the first thing we need is money. The objective is to be able to get money as quickly as possible, taking the path with least resistance, and at the same time using as much leverage as we can. So let's break this down. What I mean by path of least resistance, what we have is we're starting out as a business, right? This is you. And when you start out, you wanna dodge as many complications as possible. And that might be like building a following, building a brand, doing this first. All these activities don't lead to money directly in your pocket. You wanna find the activity that gets money directly in your pocket. And the closest activity to doing that is sales, right? If you close the deal, you get money in your pocket directly. That has the least resistance. There's no, let me build a following first. Let me make sure people know I exist first. Let's uh, build an email list first, none of that. And we wanted to get to sales as quickly as possible. And when I say leverage, there's usually two main power sources that we have. There's money and there's time. In the beginning, most of the time when you don't have money, that's because you have more time. And if you think that you don't have time, you need to find the time. Because when you're starting out and you're starting the business, you have to put in that time first. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna leverage our time that we have now so that eventually we can switch over and leverage our money. Because with our time, the time has a cap. Our time has a cap. I have 24 hours, you have 24 hours. My dog has 24 hours. I mean, I don't know how it works in dog years, but we all share the same amount of time. Elon Musk has 24 hours. Steve Jobs had 24 hours. And so time has a massive cap on it. So we can only do so much, but in the beginning, we don't have enough money to leverage. Therefore, we have to utilize our time. Most of the time we have to individually go out and do the things manually. Manually message people, manually call people, manually knock door to door. If we're trying to build brand awareness with just DMing people, that's gonna be not the best use of your time. They say on average, it takes about seven touch points seven times for your business to pop in front of someone before they buy something from you. So we can't just be sitting there messaging everybody seven times. So what do we do? We make more direct offers. If you have a solution to someone's problem, this is how you sell things. It's not a matter of how many credits you have. It doesn't matter how many major placements you have. All those are good leverage, but we're not talking about leverage. We're talking about solutions. And this is the reason why your clients pay you. They don't pay you because of your credits. They don't pay you because of what you've done in the past. They pay you if you have a solution to their problem. So what we gotta do is find out how we can describe the solution and offer the solution to their problem in a way where they're gonna wanna buy from you, okay? And I'm gonna go, I'm gonna have more videos that go in way more depth in this, but from a 30,000 foot view, this is what it is. We're trying to get people to pay us. So what can you do? You can go out and since we have time to leverage, we can go out and we can manually message people. Right? We can send them DMs and we can start making more offers. This is the activity you should be focusing on the most when you're growing your business. I know there's a million things we can focus on. Make more beats, create our beat stars page, make our website look prettier, build our brand. There's a million things, but there's only one true activity that you should be focusing on when you're starting your music business. Because once you get this money from the DMs that you sell, let's say you sell a few beats, right? You now have money to be able to scale 
to spend towards advertisement, promotion, shout outs, Instagram shout outs, whatever it is, to make more money. And when you make more money, eventually you're gonna grow it enough to where you can start focusing on other things like brand awareness. But up until that point, you should not be focusing on your branding. You should be focusing on making sales. That way you can get the capital and you can start investing in other things. So again, to just cover why I don't think branding is the first thing you should be focusing on is because there's no direct ROI in branding. What you're paying for is for someone to understand that you even exist. And when you're starting out as a new business, you don't have enough money to continuously pay for promotions to have people understand that you exist. That's just not the quickest way to success. Cash is king in this aspect, and we have to get to cash as quickly as possible. Path with least resistance means that sales is the first activity you should do because it's the closest to money. And then secondly, leverage what you have most of. If you have more time now, you should be manually sending out DMs or reaching out to people. If you have more money, you would leverage the money. And the switch you wanna make is switch from leveraging your time to leveraging money, but you cannot do that until you put in enough work with your time to get enough money so that you can leverage the money. The point of paying for branding is to be top of mind for people. When they're ready to buy a phone, what do they think of? Oh, I've been seeing a lot of Apple commercials. When they need a computer, oh, I've been seeing a lot of Microsoft commercials. That's gonna be the first thing that comes up when they need it. But you don't have that time to be waiting around until somebody needs what you have, so you need to make more direct offers. So sales is gonna be the biggest thing that's gonna grow your business fast in the beginning. So focus primarily on sales. I hope this was helpful to clear any misconceptions you may have about what you should focus on first when growing your business. And if you liked this content and you wanna learn more about how to grow your music business, subscribe down below, share this with a friend, and I will see you in the next video.